I'm running for the U.S. Congress uh, because I think we have the greatest country in the entire world here, and I think we can do so much better than what we've been doing over the last several years. We just need the courage to change. Uh, when I was growing up, as, uh, as, as Congressman Honda mentioned, my parents came to this country, they did next to nothing. But they very much valued but what they did have when they came here. They came here with 19 bucks. What he left out was they bought an $11 bottle of champagne. So they started off with $8. And, <laughs> <laughs> and wow. they lived every single dream they ever wanted to. What they did have when they came here, even though they didn't have a lot of money, was a very good education and a very strong work ethic. So they valued education very much as we were growing up, and they really pushed it on me and on my siblings. Um, I still remember my mom arguing with my grade school teachers to get more homework for me <laughs> so that she could give it to me at night in the summer and things like that. And I hated it when I was growing up. But looking back on it, it was the best thing she could have ever done because it opened up all kinds of doors. I got a chance to go to the University of Minnesota and uh, serve as student body president there. And I worked really hard to keep tuition costs low because it's important to me that people from all walks of life have the same shot of higher education that I did. Uh, then I got a chance to go to law school. I got a chance to work for homeless people and for battered women and for disabled kids and for immigrants who were seeking asylum. And it was good practice because it was practice at advocating on behalf of people that don't necessarily have a lot of political power. Then I got a chance to join the U.S. Marine Corps. I got to serve for four years with some of the best and bravest kids in the whole country. I, uh, I deployed to Iraq in 2005 and 2006, and I got a chance to work with Iraqi judges and Iraqi lawyers in our State Department, our Justice Department. Got a chance to help build the Iraqi legal system. So the point I'm trying to make here is that I think that we as a nation need to invest in value education as, a, as much as my parents did for me. That's, that's one thing I look at. And I think one thing that I've been trying to emphasize on the campaign trail is that I think this is an economic issue. You know, we've got, you know, but they put this, this sort of thinking on us in this country that somehow education spending is just, well, it's just social services, you got to plus pay, whatever. This is directly tied to the economy. We must invest in our people if we want to be competitive in this global economy. You know, other countries all over the world are investing in their people. And we can compete and we can win, but we must invest in education. The other thing I've been talking, the other thing my parents taught me, you know, when they first came here, was that was the value of being fiscally prudent. 